Besides eating cereal with water what is the most outrageous eating sin you have ever witnessed? The wife dips oils in water like a psychopath. When I visited my aunt's family as a kid she served a purple cow, milk mixed with grape juice, for breakfast. If you haven't tasted that, take my word for it, it is not a great concoction. Friends mum used to eat soy sauce with ice cream. I work at a pub, restaurant waiting tables. This couple walks in who I've never seen but are apparently regulars. The bartender sees them, shoots me a glance, and goes to grab something from the kitchen. Before even taking their order, he's filled the crushed red pepper shaker and told me to take it over to them. The woman orders a small cup of French onion soup and proceeds to unscrew the cap of this shaker and dump the entirety of it onto her soup, an inch high off the top of her bowl. She's eating this spicy red pepper-like cereal and didn't even ask for a drink refill. I had a friend who went through a period where cake decorating was her hobby, and she made some amazing looking cakes that all tasted horrible because of the bizarre flavor combinations. It was always a bit funny because people would compliment the look of them and then have to figure out how to throw their pieces away without being rude about it. The worst one was a Christmas cake with an immaculate looking fondant Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer that was an orange spice cake covered in mint icing. It was like brushing your teeth and rinsing with orange juice in cake form. I used to be obsessed with A1. I would put it on everything possible because I loved it so much. One day I put it on jello. I no longer enjoy A1. When I was in grade school I went over to this kid's house to play, then ended up staying for dinner. We had spaghetti, some vegetable, maybe salad and something else. His entire family would mix everything together before eating it. His dad seemed to be the ringleader, mastermind behind this scheme. I remember someone cheerfully saying, well, it all goes to the same place. And then the rest of them agreeing with this truism as if it was some serious folk wisdom. That's some serial killer shit right there. My sister would make Ritz cracker sandwiches. Except the thing that went between the two Ritz cracker buns was another Ritz cracker, except chewed up and spit out. It was disgusting. I wasn't going to tell this story but here I am. As a kid I would eat a whole bag of Doritos without swallowing, and then I'd spit out the pulverized chip dust and saliva mixture and roll it into a ball with my hands and then let it harden a bit in my desk at school between first and second break and then eat it again during lunch when the outside was a bit crunchy again but the inside was still moist and the consistency of a chocolate truffle. A ketchup brownie. My cousin, this son of a bee. My mum puts peanut butter on cold pizza. It is the closest flavor to vomit that is not vomit. When I was a server, I had a customer dip her bread in a glass of coke. She finished her whole bread basket and coke and asked for another basket and another refill of coke, and went to town again for round two. She didn't give a crap how she looked and ate that shit like it was the best thing on earth. My wife dips PBJs into spaghettios. A watermelon and ketchup sandwich. I call it a sandwich because it makes me sad. Mom's boyfriend. Crushed cheesy crackers into his coffee. That day he ate waffles covered in spinach and fish sticks drizzled with syrup. All the while loudly smacking his lips saying you are so good. Mom says don't let it bother me. It bothers me. Get mustard on cheesecake. Edit, answering a few comments. It wasn't teamy it was a friend. It was yellow mustard. Any kind of cheesecake. You can t compare it to mustard on a sandwich containing cheese the flavor profiles of both are completely different. On top of that cheesecake is a sweet, yes and somewhat tangy, dessert, whereas normal cheese is just tangy, and all the other cheesy flavor profiles. The number of people that misread this as cheese steak amuses me. Tongue. Apparently this is normal in the Netherlands. Dude in my dining hall had a plate of sunny side up eggs. Scooped under an egg with his fork, brought it up to his mouth, 
and only touched his lips to the yolk, proceeded to suck all the yolk, and then slurped the rest of the egg in. It was like a car crash, I couldn't look away but I was horrified. My baby sister used to eat pancakes and ranch. My mom just accepted it because she was such a picky eater and this was something she just thoroughly enjoyed. We re pretty sure it eschews my mom craved both when she was pregnant with her. My sister used to put ketchup on strawberries. Dipping or eggs in orange juice. Fried eggs with chocolate melted on the yolk. My wife likes crunchy peanut butter and bologna sandwiches with cheese. Her mom also adds mayo. I just can't e bring myself to try it, literally start retching at the thought of the flavor. Peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. Went to college with this one girl who would get a chef salad, slice up banana and put it on said chef salad, then use ketchup as dressing. I shit you not this person ate that on a regular basis. My dad's girlfriend puts cucumber in any hot dish she can. Green chili, chicken soup taco meat, sky's the limit. She also doesn't believe in draining noodles and will let them sit in hot water until each strand of bloated spaghetti is as thick as a goddamn shoelace. I don't eat there anymore. Saw a dude eat spaghetti in milk one time. One very dark time. Ketchup on sushi. Shivers. One time, a long time ago, I ate Lucky Charms with Guinness as a St. Patrick's Day bastardization. I would not recommend. The guy on 4chan who fermented a bottle of his own semen into liquor. I knew a guy who would bite into hot pockets in the middle, holding each end. WTF man. A couple of years ago when my best friend and I were still in college, she stayed over at mine a few times. It was then that I learned that she liked dipping cheese into hot chocolate. Like, full on dunking it in, waiting for it to partially melt, swirling it around and then eating it. I love her to bits, she's like my kid sister. But I still haven't entirely recovered. Mixing ketchup with soda. Granted we were trying to gross each other out, but still. It was an act of culinary violence unlike anything else I've ever seen. My roommate's mom eats peanut butter and onion sandwiches. This is my own confession. I really love to eat lemons. Not in wedges or squeezed on things, but in the way you would eat an orange or a clementine, by peeling it and eating the whole thing. For some reason sourness is just the best to me. I am a person of many weird food preferences but this is the one that causes witnesses to cringe the most. Eat cereal with orange juice instead of milk. Did I used to know in school used to rip open his milk carton, and dip his burrito into the chocolate milk. Sometimes he'd even go so far as to rip open the burrito and pour his milk onto the beef and eggs too. I'm quoting him here, creamify the meat. I don't know man, but the word creamify is just. Uck. I live with someone who lives to eat food sins. Do you really think water with cereal is bad? Boy, the thing I would consider the least of eating sins would be when she microwaved a fucking pickle with cheese on it, then dipped in fucking ice cream. I can't stand to sit in the kitchen when she's in there because of the shit she made. If anyone is interested, I'll provide more horrid creations she made in debt, but all you really need to know is that fucking pickle. A friend of mine once set peanut butter with his hands out of the jar in the back seat of my car on a 10 hour drive. I also saw him make a salad by peeling lettuce off a head of lettuce he pulled from his backpack and hand tearing red peppers up, while standing next to a knife rack, then eating it without any dressing. He's basically a NYC caveman. A former friend of mine once poured a can of Coors Light into a bowl of Cheerios. He called it Beerios. I used to eat blueberries with ketchup on them because I liked the texture. My whole sibling group eats tomatoes and peeled oranges, clementines like a normal person would eat an apple, but the worst I've ever seen is a guy in my class take a cheese and sauce filled roll type thing, rip a hole in the bottom and suck it dry. In a restaurant with other people. Another time, my little sister, 
she was a tiny kid at the time, got gulab jamun at an Indian buffet, they're like milky donut holes soaked in watery sugary syrup, she leaned over the table and vacuumed them up off the plate so she didn't get her hands sticky. My friend was eating salad with his hands at a restaurant. He is not my friend anymore. Edit, this may be hard to believe but this same friend also eats spaghetti with his hands one by one without any sauce or cheese. I've never been to an Italian restaurant with him so I'd give he does this in public. I worked in a restaurant that served authentic imported Kobe beef. I had someone order a 16 ounces Kobe filet mignon. Well done. The chef nearly cried and definitely threw things. If I recall correctly, he ended up having to put that $200 steak into the microwave to get it to cook all the way through to well without burning the outside to charcoal. The guest was pleased and his date looked horrified. As a kid, we heard about cheeseburger pizza, pizza but with ketchup and mustard instead of tomato sauce, American cheese instead of mozzarella, and hamburger meat on top. So, we tried it. You wouldn't think it would be that different, the ingredients are the same as an actual hamburger. Except pizza dough is actually very different from the bread of a hamburger bun, it's kind of sweeter and fluffier, and really soaks in the ketchup and mustard to an absolutely disgusting degree. It's awful. <laughs>